Some late night breaking news. The Los Angeles Angels have made a huge trade to acquire starting pitcher Lucas Giolito and right-handed pitcher Reynaldo Lopez from the White Sox in exchange for two top prospects, Edward Cuero and Kai Bush. This trade is absolutely monumental for a couple reasons. First off, this means the Angels are going to be buyers at this year's deadline. Just a couple hours before this, they reported that Shohei Otani is off the market, and sure enough, they had a trade in the books. As always, before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. This is the place you want to be for trade deadline content. If I'm not at work, you can expect a video within an hour of the trade being made. Tons of trades expected to happen, and this is a seller's market again. Alrighty, here we go. Breaking down this trade. For the Angels, you're getting one of the best pitchers that was available on the market, right-handed pitcher Lucas Giolito. This season, he has a 3.79 ERA and 21 starts, 121 innings, 131 strikeouts with a 1.223 whip. He started this season incredibly rough, and he still goes to patches where he just absolutely stinks. Not his last start, but the start before, he went three and two-thirds innings pitch and allowed eight runs to the Mets. That's what I mean. He still tends to have an absolutely terrible game. However, his numbers are better this year than they were last year. Last year he had a 4.9 ERA, but we just go back to 2021 and even 2020 and 2019 when he was an all-star. We're talking a mid-3 ERA in a bunch of innings. I believe he even threw a no-hitter in 2020 if I'm not belong. He finished in the top 11 Cy Young voting in all from 2019 to 2021. He throws, you know, on average 170 innings, so you're probably going to expect another 50, 60 innings out of Giolito. He has a devastating changeup. He's going to strike out probably 200 batters this year. Typically, Giolito tends to limit the hits he gives up. However, he does walk a fair amount of batters, which is can be problematic, which leads to those big and really rough outings that you see him come across. Giolito, I'd say, is probably one of the top five pitchers that was available on this year's trade market, and the Angels got him. And the Angels could not have been a better team to acquire him due to their obvious and clear lack of starting pitching. Now, the Angels also get right-handed pitcher Ronaldo Lopez in this deal. Lopez has a 4-2-9 ERA in 43 games, 42 innings pitch, 52 strikeouts, a 1.31 whip. And, I mean, in his career, ever since moving to the bullpen, and then, I mean, in his career... Ever since moving to the bullpen, really in 2021, he's been absolutely lights out. This year's his worst year out of the bullpen, but 2021, 3.43 ERA and 57 and two-thirds innings pitched. In 2022, 2.76 ERA and 65 and a third innings pitched. Both of those two seasons since he moved to the bullpen, his whip was basically a .95. So with Lopez, the Angels also get a very much needed bullpen arm in this trade as well. Now, the return going to... Whew, the return going to Chicago, man, it's absolutely insane. First off, the number two prospect, which you might as well make it the number one prospect, because number one prospect in the Angels organization is Logan O'Hoppy. But the number two prospect, Edward Cuero, he's 20 years old. His scouting grades are a 55 hit, 50 power, 40 run, 50 arm, 50 field of an overall of 55. This season in double A, he's hitting 246 with three home runs, 35 RBIs, and a 718 OPS. However, in, in A-Ball last year, he hit 312 with 17 bombs and a 965 OPS. Cuero is a catcher, and with Logan O'Hoppy now on the team and a prospect as well, 23 years old, Cuero was ultimately blocked, so he was an expendable piece. Now, the other part, the number three prospect in the Angels organization, Kai Bush. Kai Bush, the left-handed pitcher, is 23 years old. His scouting grades are 55 fastball, 45 curveball, 55 slider, 55 changeup, 50 control, overall of 50. This season, with two teams in rookie ball and double A, Kai Bush has, has a 7.2 ERA and 8 starts, 30 innings pitched, 42 strikeouts, and 15 walks. He's given up 6 home runs. His numbers in double A have actually been better than his two starts in a, and rookie ball, excuse me. Kai Bush, even in 2022, 3.67 ERA and 103 innings pitch in double A. So Kai Bush kind of hasn't put it all together in the minors quite yet, but is a very talented left-handed arm, which I feel like left the Angels 
with the idea that they were they it, he was expendable in this trade now the winner of this trade it's gonna it has to be the chicago white Sox. you're getting two top five prospects from the angels organization in exchange for two rental players that's absolutely insane the white Sox, you're getting an a grade for this trade now the angels i still don't don't get me wrong trading two of your top prospects is not ideal but we talk about edward Quero. he was blocked by logan ohabi Kai Bush hasn't ultimately performed all too well this season and altogether in the minor leagues quite yet. So Kai Bush, I feel, is also expendable, even though he's, you know, 6'6", 240 pounds, and he's 23 years old. He should be, you know, coming up to the big leagues this year, but clearly isn't quite ready. But if the Angels now have Giolito pushing for the playoffs with Otani and Trout, I have the feeling that Giolito is going to be a free agent candidate for the Angels this offseason. Now they're able to just keep, you know, ultimately re sign him at the end of the year. I think this is a great trade for the Angels, too. I'm going to give them a B grade for this trade. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below. Who do you think won this trade? Who do you think lost? To me, I think baseball won this trade. This means that the Angels are pushing for it. We're going to hopefully see Shohei Otani and Mike Trout on the grand stage in October. That's just. That just fires me up. I, I just can't wait to see Otani and Trout playing in the playoffs. Hopefully the Angels get there. Hopefully Giolito performs and Lopez performs. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe. Come back later for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. It's delicious.